right, man, here's why Sacramento Kings passed up on Luka Donatich a couple years ago, man. Let's talk about it. We back. Good Feel Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video, all right? And, um, yeah, you know, uh, the Sacramento Kings is the number one, number two pick when Luka Donatich uh, came out in the draft, and they took Marvin Bagley. And one of the reasons they took uh, Marvin Bagley over Luka Donatich is because Lottie Devos reportedly, and I'll link an article in the description, didn't like Luca's dad. Okay, Luca's dad was a professional ball player overseas, and uh, so was Lottie Devos at one point, according to the article. And he didn't take Luca because of a personal, I guess, vendetta or issue that he had with his father. They didn't really go into detail. You know, did he not like his dad because maybe he was like, you know, maybe they talk shit to each other on the court or. You know, maybe he took his girl or you never know, man. Dudes be petty, man. Old men will hold on to a grudge for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Women hold on to a grudge forever. But these old men hold on to a grudge for a long time. And obviously, Lottie Devos is letting personal feelings get in the way of making basketball moves. And that's really not a good trait of a great GM. You know, if you know, check out Doc Rivers, right? If Doc Rivers... Held a personal grudge against Paul George and then won Paul George there. Kawhi Leonard may not end up in L.A. Now, what I mean by that is, will Paul George end up cheating on Doc Rivers' uh, uh, daughter? And he had a, a a baby with an Instagram model, whoever she was, outside of their relationship. And he ended up leaving his daughter and being with the Instagram model girl. All right? So, at the end of the day, do Doc Rivers be like, you know what? I don't want Paul George on this team because... The way he did my daughter. But one thing Paul, I mean, Doc Rivers does do understand is he need to win now in LA and it's gonna be harder and harder to get talent like Paul Paul George, excuse me there. So Vladi Devots, he he wasn't he didn't really have the the he didn't really have the the cushion not to take a guy like Luka Donacic. And when I seen Luka Donacic play, and I was like, Oh, that's another overhyped Euro ball player. Man, I knew he could play from watching a few uh, clips of film of him, okay? I said, oh, man, I would take him. Bar none, I'm taking him over over the rest. And I like Marvin Bagley. He a technician on the block. He was injured this year. But Luka Donatich was by far the best pro prospect, com prospect coming out of that draft. Even if I think Michael Porter was in that draft, even if he was healthy, Luka is, uh, is phenomenal, all right? Now, it ain't like his dad don't seem to be all in the video like Puff Daddy or whatever they call himself these days, P. Diddy. So it ain't like he all in the video and, like, he he LeVar Ball. So that shouldn't have been an issue. But, you know, this is why you got to watch who you got uh, running your team. Because Vladi, you know, taking shit personal, like you like you are the general manager of the Lakers or or another prominent franchise where people just going to flock there. Don't nobody trying to come to Sacramento. Nobody trying to come to Sac Town. So you need all the talent you can get. And Marvin Bagley might end up being a good player, but the chances of Marvin Bagley being Luka Donatich, that's slim to none. And Trey Young is doing very, very well his first two couple years, and he not measuring up to Luka Donatich. So you really took uh, uh, an elite talent. Like, this is a Hall of Fame, like maybe potentially top 20 great player, even higher talent. You passed up on him because of a personal issue with his father. And I can see if his father was LeVar Ball like. And he may be. I don't know if his daddy daddy for LeVar Ball like. I didn't I haven't seen him at the games. I watched a few of their games. If that was LeVar Ball situation, I understand with, with Vladi. But it don't seem to be that. But you know, it's unfortunate. You know, it's really, really unfortunate uh for Vladi to take that uh take that stand. But you live and you learn. Everybody make mistakes. You know, but then again you can look at them. They got De'Aaron Fox, they got uh, 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 Boyanovich, and they got uh, uh, another kid, Buddy Hill. I, you could you could have packaged some of them and got something for them, you know, plug something in the middle, and him and you could have got Porzingis over there with Luca. But hey, let me know what you guys think. I linked the article from Complex. Shout out to Complex. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business question, cry response, your video request, video request. Starting NBA live streams next year, but check out our NBA talk playlist for more videos like this. And if you want to check my other channel, Wild's primary Detroit sports channel and news, it's called Motor City Sports Talk. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. It's your boy C.